was amazing. One of the best days of my life. It's one of the best performances I can remember from Leeds for a long, long time. Leeds were just awesome. They were just all over Chelsea. It was just fantastic to, to witness. Ladies and gents, we find ourselves back here again and it feels like more of the same for Leeds. I'm going to pass straight over to you. Ram, get anything you want off your chest. The floor is yours. No ship, over to you. <laughs> so, so, yeah, absolute crap. Really, really disappointed, dejected, gutted, all of those. I think... Um, what we saw today was really what we've seen most of the season, what we said earlier. Um, they create some opportunities, Leeds do, but just no confidence going forward. Um, Somerville, I think, was a typical example of that. He had a great opportunity near the end and he took one touch too many, which you just see so many times. They take one touch too many, they just haven't got the confidence to just go for it. Um, I think what really, okay, we've still got one game to go, we're still in with a shout, if we win next week we have to win and we then hope that um, Everton do us a favour like they didn't yesterday, thank you Everton. Um, but I just can't, at the moment I just can't see it, I can't see it happening. Um, I think Leeds have lost their way, when we look at the beginning of the season again they were, they were really, really good. Um, they were playing what I would say was the Bielsa way still and um, somehow through um, the, uh, what's that last manager's name? Jesse Marsh. Yeah, I've forgotten him already. Oh, Javi Garcia. Oh god yes, how could I forget him as well? <laughs> yeah, uh, through three managers we managed to lose our way. Um, even with Sam Allardyce, I don't know what he's trying to do. He's just, I suppose he's playing the Sam Allardyce way which is trying to be too tactical. i just rather see Leeds doing what they were doing three years ago, just going for it. If we can see three, we'll try and get four. I was never more proud to be a Leeds supporter than the way we played under Bielsa. And at the moment, we just gutted. Mm. That's all I've got. That's it. And I think that the most frustrating thing for Leeds is the fact that Leeds had chances. They could have won this game. And it, as we keep on saying, it's a story of the season where they create chances, they just can't put the ball in the back of the net. And you summed it up perfectly with the Somerville chance. One touch too many. And that could have been the game buried. But no, they find themselves a goal down, throwing players forward, vulnerable on the counter-attack. And then they're two goals down. Game over. Potentially season over. But the thing that we both sort of said is it's not over. There are chances. I mean, you've got one more game. It's possible. We've seen Manchester City win the Premier League in the most unlikely of circumstances with Aguero. You can have your own Aguero moment at the other end of the table. I hope that happens because it feels like the last time we went to see Leeds, you went off on a passionate rant about how great the team were and you've just done the complete opposite at the end of the season. And it's sad to see because I think Leeds belong in the Premier League. The fan base, they belong in the Premier League. It's just the players on the pitch that haven't got the confidence. They've got the ability, I believe, but they just haven't got the confidence. And Sam Allardyce, I think, has put a bit more fight into this team than under Javi Garcia, but I think it's too little too late. And it's a shame. It's a shame, but you've got one more game left, Leeds fans. It's not over. West Ham, by the way, I just want to shine a light on how well they played today because in the first half, they weren't quite at the races. Second half, by far the better team. Smashed it. Brilliant. And for what it's worth, obviously as a Chelsea fan, I should hate West Ham, but I actually really like West Ham. I think they're a proper football club, great fan base. I actually saw my first Chelsea game up at the bowling ground in and amongst the West Ham fans. And I love the supporters. I love the club. Uh, and I'm happy that you guys have got the win for you guys, but I mean, I would have preferred the Leeds win for yourself, and it's just a shame. But one more game left for Leeds to try and salvage their season. All we can do is hope, and 
congratulations West Ham for staying up this season for hopefully winning the Conference League um, good luck good luck in the final West Ham big time and hopefully you guys get the result because it'd be brilliant if you guys win a European trophy before the likes of Tottenham and Arsenal join the Chelsea club um, but ladies and gents that is the end of this video and I hope you have enjoyed uh, it's been a bit of an emotional one I feel been a bit of an emotional roller coaster um, but thank you very much for watching as always we'll see you guys in the next one hopefully some playoff action but we'll see what comes our way sayonara still hope there's still hope well we were we were last game of the season last season I thought we had no hope then so who knows there who you knows? go just go for it Leeds bring Bielsa back for one game for God's sake do something <laughs> That's it. Stranger things have happened. But ladies and gents, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. But take care. Peace and love.